Most of you have probably heard the term insurance, but don't know what it's really all about. So we're going to break it down little by little over the next several videos to make sure you have a really good understanding of what insurance is. But first, let's start from the top. Insurance is mainly about managing risk. And you can think about risk as uncertainty. Let's use pet insurance as an example. Let's say you have a dog and it ate something funky, got sick, and then you gotta rush it to the vet. If you don't have pet insurance, you'd be responsible for the full cost. Mm -hmm. But if you do have pet insurance, you'll only be responsible for a percentage of it or the deductible. Insurance helps us manage that risk by taking some of the financial costs in case a problem does arise. Now, we don't want to scare you or come off as negative, but in life there's always a chance that you may be in a car accident, or you may deal with a natural disaster, or get an injury. So basically, insurance is a contract between an individual, also called a policyholder, who wants to manage that risk, and an insurance company who's willing to take on those expenses in the case that an accident does happen and they fall under certain conditions. The policyholder is expected to pay a premium to the insurance company to pay for coverage. And the premium is based on a few different factors. These factors include the type of coverage the policyholder is looking for, the likelihood of a claim being made, the area where the policyholder lives, the behavior of the person or business being covered, and the amount of competition that the insurer faces from the other insurance companies. Typically, the greater the risk that the insurance company will have to pay for an accident, the higher that cost for that policy will be. So let's use an example and say you live in an area where theft and home break-ins are common. It's going to be likely that your home will be broken into. So if you go and buy home insurance, the insurance company is going to assume that you'll file a claim at some point, therefore making your policy much higher. So based on these and any other factors that your insurance company comes up with, you have a premium that insures you for a certain period of time that you have to pay for for coverage. Now, you can usually pay off your premium in installments or all at once. It all depends on what the contract says when you sign it when you're first getting your insurance policy. Yeah, and for me personally, my insurance premium covers me over six months at a time, and I actually pay it in equal installments over that period. Um, and my insurance premium has been pretty consistent over the last yeah. few years, but it can vary for different people. Another cost to be aware of, in addition to the premium, is the deductible. A deductible is the amount you pay in the event of an accident before the insurance company pays anything. Because you're paying the deductible and covering some of the costs of the repairs, you are effectively sharing the risk between you and your insurance company. And a deductible is something that you actually agree to prior to signing the insurance contract and you only pay in the case that you file a claim. In many cases, the larger the deductible, the less the policyholder actually has to pay for their premium. So let's use a real example. Earlier this month, my car was broken into. They smashed one of my windows and stole my in-dash navigation. You mean they fell, they didn't fall for the little fake one that you No, put I do, I do have like an anti-theft, like fake old radio cover on my navigation, but <laughs> apparently these were some smart crooks. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so they broke in my car, broke my window, took my navigation. Oh my gosh. And had I not had car insurance, mm -hmm. I would have paid a thousand dollars for a new navigation, plus the cost of installation, and I would have paid another 300 for a new window. Oh my gosh, so how much did you actually end up paying? Yeah, so fortunately I only had to pay my 500 deductible, which is the deductible that I made an agreement with when I first got my car insurance. And I'm sure you had that $500 in your emergency fund. You know I did. Yeah, it was almost hassle-free because I had my emergency fund and my car insurance. From a financial standpoint, it was hassle-free. It was still kind of a hassle to not have a car for a few days. But, I'm sure, and it's yeah. important to also note that the $500 that Samantha paid wasn't just a general fee that the insurance company right. said you need to pay. It actually went towards the cost of the repairs. Had the cost of the repairs been less than $500, it might have made more sense for me to just pay that outright rather than going through insurance. And it's also important to note that the deductible that Samantha paid was for that incident and not for the entire year. Had Samantha had another accident, she would have to pay that deductible again. Mm -hmm. And all insurance policies are a little different, so if you're not sure, make sure that you ask your provider. You should also be aware that the cost of a premium may go up any time you file a claim. Remember earlier in the video we talked about the factors that go into 
what a policyholder's premium will cost? Well, one of those was the likelihood that you'll file a claim. And an insurance company can make the assumption that if you filed a lot of claims in the past, mm -hmm. you'll be more likely to continue filing claims going forward and they may just adjust your premium accordingly. Yeah, and if you realize or notice that your premium is going up way too high, don't worry, you can always switch providers as long as your contract is over. So let's recap. Insurance is a contract between a policyholder and an insurance company to share the financial risk in case of an accident, natural disaster, or some other unexpected tragedy. Insurance premiums are based on the insurance company's calculation of the risks that they'll have to pay for an accident. When you file a claim, you will be responsible for paying a deductible, a set amount or percentage of the claim that goes towards the cost of the repairs. Insurance companies can adjust your premium each time you renew it based on your past activity. Be sure to keep watching as we continue the insurance conversation. And if you haven't already, subscribe at generationwealthy.org. What does insurance take six? You'll have a premium that you'll have. <coughs> I don't know what just happened. Insurance for a certain period of time. You can pay the insurance off a million dollars all at once. It depends on the country. It's time to get insurance. <laughs> I have to pee.